Hi everybody, welcome to Photo Finds for August 19th, 2014. I'm your host, as always, Nick Russo. Thanks for stopping by this week. Now we have a couple of places on our tour this week. Let's go ahead and begin on Universal City Walk. The first thing we're looking at here is the new mural that they have up for the Cowfish Restaurant. I believe this mural is painted on there, uh, not paneling or anything like that. It's relatively new over on the side toward the Universal Store. What you can see over to the left of your screen is that scrim that's been up around the more circular entryway part over uh, above Vivo. So that is still up. No exact word on when Cowfish will open up, but they wanted to have it open by the opening of Diagon Alley, which obviously didn't go as planned. Uh, we'll let you know. We'll fill you in as soon as we know when Cowfish will be opening. Just some new artwork there. On the way in over to Universal Studios, we can see that they have some new park maps up here. Still themed to Harry Potter as they have been, but when we look closer up, the uh, new commemorative the commemorative message up at the top is gone. And back to our generic two-park guide map title up there. Going into Universal itself now, just getting a look here at the darkroom store. This is nothing new, but what is new is that this is exclu the exclusive location for the screenings that they do from time to time with guests. Actually, it's not from time to time. It's pretty much all the time where they have guests come in and watch an hour-long show or pilot episode for a television show, and they pay their guests for their time, and um, you get to see something that you normally wouldn't see. But the dark room is now the exclusive location for the screenings. It used to be over in another location, which we'll get a look at now, which is now something else. It's now a store, which we're going to head over. Uh, there's a closer up look on the dark room door, which you can see it's the preview center. Now we're heading over around the corner before we go to that store I was talking about we're getting a look here at this curved sign over by the horror makeup show which used to be themed to Despicable Me 2 for quite a long time now they have finally rethemed it to the Box Trolls film which comes out at the end of September previously uh, or recently they had the walk around Box Troll characters out here meeting guests in front of the sign now here we are over at the Film Vault. This is that store I was telling you about. It is now a store. It used to be one of the screening locations for that process that they would do with guests. But as we step inside, we can see it's a pretty nice sized store. It looked a lot more spacious actually when it was a screening center, but with all the stuff in here, it looks a little bit smaller, but it is a nice size and it's themed after different movies obviously so you walk around the store and each section each rack has its own theme here we can see stuff all themed to Jurassic Park even some helmets with lights on there around the corner from that they have a whole Scarface uh, wall here shirts and mugs and that kind of thing here we see Ghostbusters and more of those Vinylmation type um, sculptures over to the right of your screen there. They are not Vinylmations, so don't get that confused, but they are similar. And also toward the back of the store they have some of these smaller posters. These were about twelve ninety five, I believe, for these, I think probably 11 by 17 I would say these were. And some Animal House shot glasses here. These are shot glasses and not toothpick holders at Universal. Outside of the store, they didn't theme the windows to the store itself. They rather kept the facade, you know, likely to keep the whole theme of the functioning movie studio. It's still themed to olives and cheeses. Heading over around the corner, over to Fear Factor, which is dead. That's because it's closed. Look up at the Fair Factor sign here. It has a black scrim around it. And we take a look over here. And they have a sign out. Because they are preparing for Bill and Ted at Halloween Horror Nights. Now I'm not sure. Let me let me touch on this. I'm not sure that as a day guest you can hear any rehearsals going on on the stage. My guess is that all rehearsals take place in the evenings after the park has closed. Over around the corner from Fear Factor. I wanted to get a shot of these return time 
return time ticket machines that they were using for the grand opening of Diagon Alley. Now, these aren't temporary. These are drilled into the ground, and this this kind of overhang area is bolted into the ground. Right now, it's just kind of off to the side behind a gate fenced in, uh, not in use because they don't need return time tickets. I don't know how often they'll be using these, but it just struck me as interesting that it's such a permanent structure, and the hustle and bustle, the real insane hustle and bustle of Diagon Alley only lasted for a week or two, but this structure remains here. Maybe they anticipated to pick up again next summer. Okay, going over to where the horror makeup stage is, once again, actually in front of the diner. On the way out, I wanted to get a shot of this new Despicable Me merchandise stand, and I questioned why it was here at first, but then I realized they do this dance party over here. They do these dance parties, these Despicable Me dance parties, at several locations throughout Universal, but one of the most popular ones is over here by the diner. So after the uh, dance party comes to an end, that's why the merchandise stand is there, to provide merchandise for guests who maybe don't want to go all the way over to the Minion Mayhem attraction. Alright, that's going to be it for Universal this week. We're going to head over now to Downtown Disney, more specifically in the Marketplace Co-op, just getting a look here at the Wonderground Gallery. It's a very small addition to the Marketplace Co-op, but it's an addition nonetheless. Less, it's right in the middle of all of the different boutiques, kind of its own freestanding rack there. And what it is, they have artwork from from official Disney artists. They have these larger portraits, or larger prints rather. These are not the originals. So they have the larger prints, and then for each larger print, they have kind of a medium-sized version. You can see my hand there, so a size comparison. And then they have a much smaller size as well for each print. So I think they have three different sizes for each print. Some nice stuff there. And these baskets struck me as new. Uh, I went to the Marketplace Co-op, I think, two or three days after it first initially opened a few months ago, and I definitely didn't see the baskets. So these baskets are new to me. I don't know how long they've been there. You can let me know, but it's a nice way to shop around, to shop at all the different boutiques and then pay for everything at once. Heading outside in downtown Disney, looking at some of the Disney Springs construction. Right now we're starting out on the bridge that goes across over by Fulton's Crab House and over across to the other side of the lake there. Now, only one of these arches is up, these steel arches, and it has been that way for quite some time. There's a reverse view of it closer up. And like I said, it's only one of these arches. I'm not sure how many they plan on, but just the one is up right now. All right, heading over to the construction going on outside the Cooks of Dublin restaurant. Uh, not too much going on as we peek over this wall. Uh, mostly just these red bricks being laid down. It's an opposite view of that. Some vertical brickwork as well. Popping the camera over another wall here. Really not too much going on except earth moving. This is over by the Pleasure Island sign, as you can see, to the right of your screen. And another view of that as well. Lots of just earth moving going on. Well, this is over by Paradiso 37. A lot of scaffolding, a lot of vertical construction going on here. Now this is where the most activity is going on. A lot of steelwork, a lot of woodwork going on here on the water. And over to the left of this, this pavilion. So some updates on that as well. Now we're heading over to West Side over by the Harley Davidson store. They have a kind of sanctioned off area here where this one piece of the High Line walkway is up. And then there's a large gap where the High Line continues over here by Splitsville. All right, guys, thanks for watching this week, this week of Photo Finds, August 19th, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo, and until next week, have fun, guys. Bye.